you hear those insects? You know what those are called? Katy dids. Katy dids? Yeah, they look like a grasshopper, only they have wings. Real funny looking insects. Then that's the cicada. Yeah. Here in the south, they didn't really like science all that much because of religion. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm walking down in the caverns, and uh, this is before they changed. They had to change their own. Um, that it's hundreds and hundreds of years old. It used to be thousands and millions of years old. And then they're like, no, it's hundreds of years old. And this woman saying to her child, no, it's really hundreds of years old, baby. God made this. And, um, oh, this is, this is where water had, you know, went through and carved the caverns, which she was right about that. And then the mineral stalactites and stalagmites. And I'm sitting here wa um, walking with a lady and she said something else. I'm like, um, so this thing ain't millions of years old, but how do you explain the shark's teeth that are coming out of the head of this, the, the, the ceiling of this yeah. cavern? And she's like, there's no shark's teeth, and I, I found it. This is one, <laughs> there's one over here, there's one over here, and there's one right there. Yeah. I had found five, and their record was only two. Wow. The, the, Caverns and structure. Yeah, I've only seen one. And but I I love finding shark teeth. This right here isn't a good place. You'd want to go on a creek mm -hmm. or a river where you see exposed um, stones. That's where you find them. I have some raisins and cranberries if if you'd like to. Oh, that's cool, man. I, I don't, I don't eat a lot of snacks. I'm trying to watch my weight. Yeah. I figured I'd bring the healthy stuff. I got to watching that show Dexter and got all creeped out. <laughs> Takes place down here too. The neighbor's cat is named Dexter after that show. I wonder who he was supposed to have been modeled after. Yeah, I'm sure there's some real life, you know. I know that they had to use techniques from real life killers, but I wonder to know if Dexter was actually like modeled on. Um, there was the the first known female serial killer in the South was that woman they made the movie Monster off of. Yeah. And she'd pick up. Well, she hitchhikers would pick yeah. her up and. She said, well, I know this is where this trail is. I mean, you can do this and that and the other. And, yeah. you know, they're, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And pow, got shot in the head. Do you know the part in Stephen King's It, the second um, part of the movie? Yeah. The, where what, they the throw spider? the gay guy off the bridge? Do you know that that was the real thing? That, that happened while Stephen King was living in that part of Maine? For real? I didn't know that. That was an actual case. That shit was, man, it's small towns like that. Hateful. Man, there ain't no telling what, what kind of evil lurks. I'd like to go to Salem one time. 
I'd like to take you on a tour back home too. Show you Helltown, Witch's Ball, Carnaby Bridge, Melon Heads, Gore Orphanage. So many dope spots, and then just all the waterfalls too. But Helltown, you know, that's straight Resident Evil, Silent Hill, straight up, you know, real life. And Crybaby Bridge. That was always crazy too. There's crybaby bridges everywhere, you know. I would like to that guy. What, what was the name of that road that guy said he he lived on where you supposed to walk with a ghost? He didn't he didn't know the road what it was called. He right. said he'll get back to us though. There's a place called Green Ghost, and that's back there towards um the high school. And it's, but um the dirt road that it went down. They destroyed the dirt road and made it into a cul-de-sac where there's houses there now. Poltergeist? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who the hell would want to live on this thing? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I just saw like a flashing light over there. Yeah, I've seen that too. I haven't seen any uh, lightning bugs. That's what it's going to end up being. Yeah. I haven't seen any though. That was the first one. Flick your lighter again. Yeah, well, yeah, it was right when I did that. See? I, Do it I, again. I didn't see it from that angle. Oh, I did see one. Yeah, yeah. It is a light above. Wow. See, that's some, there's something special about that. One day we won't have this little insect. Yeah, he lit up right after I lit up the uh, the lighter. That was really He's cool. Like, hey, man, can you get the heat off of that? He thought it was like a relative of his or something. I'd like to do the Russ House tour in, November, in uh, October. And Chipley has a lot of cool spots. The library, the tower, and then the, uh, the news places. I've never seen the tower in Chipley. We'll have to go It's a library. It's not that tall of a tower. It's only like three stories tall. But still, that's a tower yeah, down south. it is south. a tower, yeah. I have a picture by it. And if you like zoom into the window, you can kind of see a face. It could just be a glare, but I saw something. David's dad, uh, he's a bus driver. He uh, passed away like right at the railroad while he was driving the bus. Pretty crazy. Well, actually, he finished the route, and then he was driving the bus back to the school, I'm pretty sure, and passed away. So he finished the job. Heart gave out on him? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. There's a guy that lives in Chipley that has one of those um, student cars. Bought the student car where it has a steering wheel, steering wheel here Both and sides. one here. Yeah. And the the one over here where um, the student drives, he drives on this side, and he's got like a monkey, a toy monkey hanging onto the steering wheel. Oh wow! So you're you're driving by and you see this monkey driving this car. That's funny. That's funny. That's really and I, funny. I'm like, uh, I thought it was a kid driving. I'm like, what the hell? And I didn't see the guy on the passenger side. I just saw what I thought was a kid. Yeah. So I tried to get him to pull over. Monkey and then I realized up. what it was. And yeah. then I laughed. And That's hilarious. Beat the horn. Did you see that old old lady that was yelling at the mom recently uh, about the kids? They were driving like a little, uh, little four-wheel, like, you know, like a little toy truck, you right. know? And she's like, cars can't be here they can't be driving without a license it's like they're like three driving a big a big wheel it's hilarious sometimes when you get older you start lose start start you start losing your your sanity and your sense senses and your civility too yes like i i grew up in a a time where there was a lot of racial tension and it was because you learn that from your elders you learn that from older students older kids and shit like that and that i never really to me i loved watching wrestling and three of my favorite wrestlers were them black men and then i loved them 
watching shit like Lethal Weapon. Mm -hmm. Danny Glover made that to me. Gibson tried, but Glover really made the movie. Mm -hmm. I could more, relate more to him. Um, and when Predator 2 came out, Predator Takes America. I did, really like that. Did you see the newest, uh, The Predator? Yeah, this. It was made by Shane Black, and he was in the, you know. He was the nerdy one. guy always talking about his girlfriend. Yeah. He looks at his girlfriend and said, I, I could use a little pussy. And she said, me too, because mine's as big as a house. Wow. That's a good play on words. Eclipse tonight. What if the werewolves are out? I've seen the American werewolf in, in London. <laughs> I remember my dad running me that. It's a cult favorite. Then the howling. The howling had the best looking werewolves. Have you seen dog soldiers? That's a good one. I think I have. Um, there's very few werewolf movies that I missed. Silver Bullet was pretty cool. Even the Goosebumps, Fever Swamp, the werewolf of that, you know, the werewolf episode, and book were incredible. Even Twilight movies, man. The werewolf and vampire parts are awesome. I All like the, the I like the Twilights where um, it's like a. A rip-off of... Yeah. It's he like turns into a chihuahua. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All those B-rated movies, those are hilarious. There was, um... I Know What You Did Last Summer. Then there was Scream. And then there was Scary Story. And then there was I Know What You Screamed Last Halloween. Oh, man. And that was the best one. And it was a low budget version of um, Scary Movie. I think I've seen every one of them, including the Australian one. They turn into, um, what are they called? Lycanthropes? They're, they're the Tasmanian wolf, but they, they got a the scientific name. It's like Lycanthropes, something or another. I'm pretty sure I've seen the Holland. At least the they movie. had several, several good movies. They had one like a, it looks like Chechnya. Um, I forgot what they were, it, what country it's supposed to be, but it's a little small country in Europe, um, Eastern European, and the whole town are nothing but werewolves, and they had like the, the, um. The alpha male and alpha alpha female. Mm -hmm. Have you seen uh, Troll Hunter, that Norwegian movie? Man, we got to find that shit. I've been wanting to see that yeah, for years. Yeah, that's one of now. the best movies, bro. I'll try to look for it for DVD, but we could definitely find it like online. It's awesome. And then Frankenstein Theory is another good one. Uh, Devil's Pass that talks about the Dilatlov Pass incident where the uh, nine Russian hikers. Uh, went missing. Have you remember that? Incident? Nine of them went missing. I think it was nine. Yeah. Was it a serial killer? Maybe. No, no. It was in the middle of the. It was the Dlatlov Pass uh, in the. I think at the Ulrich Mountains or something. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, nine of them got killed, and some of them had their tongues ripped out, skulls crushed, sternum crushed. Uh, some died of uh, 
uh, dying of exposure from being out in frostbite for so long because they chose to just die of that than to get killed by whatever was killing them. But they made a movie about it and they, they say it's like a government uh, base. And then there was a documentary on like Discovery or something. They said it was a wild man. But a lot of people say that's that's not real. But there were lights in the sky that night too. It's it's a crazy incident. You know you they used to say um there's a theory that skunk ape was like Homo erectus. You know he was he is a form of man. Mm -hmm. But there's also a theory that that the freaking aliens engineered both us and them, and would use them for like heavy labor task force, you yep. know, attacking other people, and then use us for small labor, like going into mines and mining gold and shit like that. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to that. Long years ago, people from other countries came over here looking for copper, tin, and other minerals that they could use in blacksmithing and um, whitesmithing. So, this place was already, uh, there was already like a trade system going on between the Native Americans and them. Mm -hmm. And I can remember the, um, the Paiute Indians, um, when white men came there, they were telling the, the white men, be careful, don't go around these caves, stay away from these caves, there's bad spirits there. And they did excavations of these caves and found giants. Yep. And the giants were, anytime you have a population of that that gets out on their own, usually interbreeding makes things small. Well, radiation makes things small. Interbreeding can make it either be small or super large. There's either your um, a mutagen or mutation from um, something like asbestos could do it. 